An oligopoly is a market structure where several firms are competing with one another but are protected from outside competition by barriers to entry that keep new firms from entering the market. And we thought in particular about an oligopoly with just two firms and how one firm might decide how much to produce given how much the other firm is producing. Now we want to ask, what would happen if both firms are thinking that way? What would be the oligopoly equilibrium that emerges as a result? So just to recap, we derived a picture where we put the quantity that firm 1 produces on the horizontal axis and the quantity that firm 2 produces on the vertical axis. We then asked for different quantities that firm 2 might produce, what's firm 1's best response quantity? So if firm 2 is producing nothing, for example, then firm 1 would be a monopoly and would produce the monopoly quantity. So the best response for firm 1 to firm 2 producing nothing is to produce the monopoly quantity. That gives us one point on firm 1's best response function. Then we can ask, at what point will firm 1 choose not to produce at all? If firm 2 produces so much that price has fallen to marginal cost, then there's no more room for firm 1. If firm 1 produced anything, it would drive price below marginal cost, and then firm 1 would make a loss. So if firm 2 produces twice the monopoly quantity, it'll have driven price down to marginal cost, and there's no more room for firm 1. So if firm 2 produces twice the monopoly quantity, firm 1's best response is to produce zero. So this would be a second point on firm 1's best response function. And then we can connect these and get the function, which we call the best response for firm 1, that tells us for any quantity that firm 2 produces what firm 1's best response quantity is. Now we can do the same thing for firm 2. We draw the same kind of graph, put the quantity that firm 1 is producing on the horizontal axis and the quantity that firm 2 is producing on the vertical axis. But now we're going to ask for different quantities that firm 1 might produce What's firm 2's best response? If firm 1 produces nothing, then firm 2 is a monopoly, and so it's going to produce a monopoly quantity. So the best response to firm 1 producing nothing is for firm 2 to produce the monopoly quantity. We have our first point on firm 2's best response function. But if firm 1 produces twice the monopoly quantity, it will have driven price to marginal cost and there's no more room for firm 2 to produce anything. So firm 2's best response to firm 1 producing the, twice the monopoly quantity is to produce zero. So now we have a second point on firm 2's best response function. We can connect those and that'll be the best response for firm 2 to any quantity that firm 1 might produce. Now we'll put these two best response functions into the same graph. So again we'll have a graph with the quantity that firm 1 produces on the horizontal axis and the quantity that firm 2 produces on the vertical. And now we'll simply transfer both of these best response functions onto this single graph. Firm 1's best response function starts at twice the monopoly quantity for firm 2 and it ends at the monopoly quantity on the horizontal axis. Connect those and we have firm 1's best response function. Firm 2's best response function starts at the monopoly quantity on the vertical axis and ends at twice the monopoly quantity on the horizontal axis. Connect those two and we get firm 2's best response function. Now we can ask 
where might the equilibrium lie in this picture? And you've probably already guessed, it's probably at the intersection of these two. At the intersection of these, firm 2 would produce this quantity, and firm 1 would produce this quantity. Now we can ask, why might this be an equilibrium? And remember that an equilibrium in game theory is when two parties are best responding to each other, so that once the game is played, neither regrets what they did given what the other one did. That's the definition of what we call the Nash equilibrium. Let's check to see if that's the case at this intersection. From firm 1's perspective, when firm 2 is producing this quantity, its best response, read off of its best response function, is to produce this quantity. So it is in fact best responding to what firm 2 is doing. What about firm 2? Well, given that firm 1 is producing this quantity, its best response, read off of the green best response function, is to produce this quantity. So it is best responding to what firm 1 is doing. They are best responding to each other. After the fact, they can look back and say, we did the best we could given what the other party was doing. So we are indeed at a Nash equilibrium. And that Nash equilibrium is the oligopoly equilibrium in this particular example. Both firms are best responding to each other, so we're in an equilibrium where neither firm can do any better given what the other firm is doing.